Welcome to a video from ThisLife.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share files, links, pictures between Windows 11 PCs and Windows 10 PCs using something called Nearby Share. It's a great way of um, setting up, transferring files between devices without setting up networks and that kind of thing. So you don't have to email pictures and links, you can just use Nearby Share. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. And I've got two laptops here set up to do that. So first the devices have to be nearby, hence the name nearby share. So to switch it on, you can go into settings here, search for nearby, go to nearby. So when you go to this screen, you'll see here it gives you the option of signing in. I'm already signed in on my Microsoft account. It's asking me about my other accounts. But that's how this ties all together. Sign in with your Microsoft account on your devices. And here you can say whether you accept um, shared nearby share it's either off uh, my devices or everyone nearby so my devices only works with your Microsoft account um, if you have it set for everybody it works on any device that's nearby and I could show you how you you can control that as well so you won't just get spam with files it shows you where it's saved to and your device name so what I'm going to do is transmit a file to my other machine and um, so let's say go to my folder and I've got a picture there. I can right click on the picture. So you've got a share icon. So it brings the window share and control up. And here you can see I have two devices nearby that I could use. Uh, so I'm going to pick the Surface Laptop. And here you can see on my other screen now it asks me if I want to save it or save and open. So I'm going to do save and open. And there's that file. So I've transferred that across without having to um, connect up uh, any services. So I've transferred that file without having to set network mapping up or anything like that. I've not to email them. So I just literally right clicked and shared. And uh, it's picked that file up. So it's as simple as that really. You just find the file that you want to transmit and you can send it. So so now let's say I'm going to share a file in this folder. Now this is a OneDrive folder. So when you go to share, you get a slightly different look. You get the OneDrive sharing option. I don't want to share it through OneDrive and copy emails. I'm going to use the three dot button there. This is the, the one I want to use. And I can do share, share the link and use that like that. And that will then share across to my other machine. You see here, you can see I can get in that link now and uh, I can open that or uh, I can, if I don't want it, I can decline it like that and that sends it away. So because this file is a OneDrive file, it sends the cloud link to it. As you see on the other file, it was a local file. So it does it through the local system. So you've got that control over it. So it's as simple as that really. Just find the file you want and make sure you've got nearby share settings on find the file you want and share and it transmits the uh, the file across it's as simple as that you don't have to do a lot of work it's not complicated and it just works like that so that's how you can share files between windows uh, 11 devices and windows 10 as well you know so one of the other options i had to transmit file was to a windows 10 device so you can share to windows 10 windows 11 uh, easy, quick and simple. Thanks for watching this video. We've got more on our YouTube channel on thislifestyle.com.